My guest is Daniel Santos, who is the director of a center of influence here in the heart of Guatemala City. And it is, is a center that is devoted to help people rehabilitate from drug addiction and alcoholism. So thank you for joining me, uh, Daniel. Now, please give me briefly your testimony of how did you end up being here? Muy bien. Eh... Well, I was born into a Christian family that was part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I was raised an Adventist, I attended Adventist Church and Adventist schools. But after many years in the Church, the enemy came into my life and began to propose worldly practices and vice. I began to smoke, to drink, and then I used drugs like cocaine, crack, paint thinner, and glue used for shoe manufacturing. I inhaled solvents that caused me severe hallucinations. I also used pills that left me with hypnotic side effects. For 18 years, I was sinking lower, lower, and lower still. I was deeply addicted to drugs. I did many things that I regret. Because of the drugs, I went to prison. I lost friends, very good friends. Day by day, the drug doses were becoming greater and greater. At times, I worked 15 days to earn $300 that I spent in 24 hours to buy drugs. In the beginning, I weighed about 230 pounds, and at the lowest point of my addiction, I weighed 100 pounds, from cloth sizes of extra-large to small-sized clothing. I began to consume an increasing amount of drugs. My hair grew long, my fingers had burn marks, and my mouth as well. The burns came from the instruments I used to smoke crack. I began living in the streets. I walked so much, I spent so much time walking the streets that my shoes were ruined, so I would look for shoes in the garbage. I would search for food in the dumpsters, and I would look for dirty clothes to wear, because mine were even dirtier. At the end, my only possession was my clothes. But in the Bible, in Proverbs 22, there is a verse that says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I remembered that as a child, I was trained to serve the Lord. So, 18 years ago, I remember being in a dark place, at dawn, dirty, still intoxicated by drugs, and I raised my eyes and said to the Lord, God, help me, because I will die. These drugs are killing me. And the Lord said to me, Okay, I am going to help you. Since that day, He took my hand and has not released me. The Lord has indeed done a great work on me. I should have died many years ago. Then, I returned to the Adventist Church. I was rebaptized. Many people said to me, You are that child. You are the son of brother and sister so and so. And I replied, Yes, I am that child. But I was lost for a long time, and now I'm back. After a while, I studied to be a public accountant. But I made a promise to the Lord. I said, Lord, I don't want to work in any company anymore. I want to serve you. And then a special desire came into my heart to start a rehabilitation ministry. And so the Lord opened the doors of the Adventist Church and the Church helped me to open this drug rehab center.
eh, abrir este centro de rehabilitación. Wonderful, I'm glad you are here. Um, tell me what exactly happens here at this center. Okay. Las primeras actividades es siempre ponernos okay. en las manos de Dios. Our first activity is always to put ourselves in the hands of God. The people here get up at 8 in the morning and we start with a Bible reading plan. Then we sing loudly and joyfully as you have heard us singing. The praises raise to the Lord and inspire us in the beginning of a new day. After worship, we have breakfast together. Then we pause for an extended worship service. We read both the adult and the youth daily devotionals. Sometimes, people from the Adventist Church come to preach to us. When the worship is over, we'll have lunch. And lunch is an exciting time for them. By then, everyone is hungry. And after eating, they are happy. Then, in the afternoon, we have time to brush our teeth and to watch some TV. Later in the afternoon, we study the Sabbath school lesson for that day. In the evening, other pastors come to share the Word of God again, and by 8 o'clock our day ends. We pray, we go to sleep, hoping to wake up the next day, if that is God's will for us. Mm. So Daniel, you've been operating here now for nine years. How many people have been baptized through this program? Okay. Nosotros como ministerio de we're not only a rehabilitation ministry, we're also a restoration and a missionary ministry. This has always been our vision. Our vision is to invite addicts, to restore them, and to help them to make a commitment to God. Along nine years of working here, 1,500 people have been baptized in this place. Some of these former addicts are serving the Lord in Adventist churches. Others return to their own churches. There are many people who accepted Jesus Christ and are serving Him today. I think we will continue with this ministry until God shows us a different path. In the meantime, we continue working. Every 15 days, we carry out evangelistic campaigns so that many hearts can be touched by the Lord. On the fourth floor, we have a baptismal tank where they're baptized. In this tank, they're born as new creatures for the greatest glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. To Him be all the honor and glory. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Well, God is using you, Daniel. Thank you so much for what you're doing. God bless. 1,500 people baptized through this ministry over nine years, putting Christ's method of ministry into practice. What a wonderful story.